Hey, greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and you should be watching this video after doing all the exercise in your Biz 134 class if you're enrolled in this. Of course, I've got these videos set so the whole world can see them, so I never know who's going to watch them. But if you're in my social media marketing class, uh, hopefully you're making the most of your experience here. It's my goal that each of you really take the time to read the materials that are uh, in, listed in the syllabus and then practice applying social media uh, in order to help you open the doors that you'd like to be opened. And speaking of opening doors, one of my favorite social media uh, sources is LinkedIn.com. And I highly recommend that if you haven't done so that you open your own personal LinkedIn page and start growing your audience and building your network. It is the social media for professionals. You know, a lot of people recognize that Facebook is very powerful and it's visited by millions of people every day and it is a really good way to network. But really, Facebook really is considered a more for play than it is for work. But LinkedIn really is the serious adult, if you will, website. And so I wanted to walk you through some of the basics of LinkedIn uh, from your reading that you should have done this week. So what is LinkedIn? Well, it really is about professional networking. Here's your opportunity to essentially put your resume online and have your own professional page on a site that uh, people are looking for other people to hire for their organizations or looking to do business with or looking for experts to help uh, enhance their careers or their business. So it really is a wonderful opportunity for you to grow your network, to post your resume, be very careful what you put online, really be thinking about how you want people to see you. It's very important that you be absolutely honest. I, I always talk about in my classes, uh, there are a lot of really great paying jobs out there, but some organizations I just would not want to work for. You know, so organizational culture really is important for me. So I want to be, uh, if I was looking for a job, uh, attractive to companies that were a good fit for me. So I need to be authentic and honest in my uh, online resume, which is your LinkedIn profile. So really make the most of it. You can join individual groups, like I belong to the Human Resources uh, networking group and here there's other people who have a, a are either in HR or have an interest in HR and um, it's um, I like linking in with them because I do professional workshops leadership training and development uh, you can have if you have your own company you can start your own company LinkedIn page and this is a really good opportunity for you to connect with your customers and build your clientele of course and what I really like about uh, LinkedIn is you can post to your news feed and read things that other people are posting in their news feed so that you get a good idea of what's going on and people can, can remember who you are and, and check you out if they want to. So you could use the LinkedIn search features and again I'm just quickly go, giving an overview of what's available on LinkedIn, but you really need to get your hands wet and dive into LinkedIn. Uh, search for people on LinkedIn. You know, I think it is a wonderful tool if you own a business to be able to, to see who's doing the kinds of things that you, that you need. Like one of the things that, I, that I'm a big promoter of is hiring for diversity. Maybe there is a particular demographic that your company is weak in. We just don't hire people because of their gender or um, ethnic background. You hire the right candidate with the right skills and experience and if you can find a person in, within a demographic of what you're looking for that is the best candidate then you're really setting your company up for success. Of course we can talk about diversity uh, in another at another time but it really is beneficial for organizations to hire for diversity properly 
you know, don't just hire a person because they are a particular gender or have a particular color skin or ethnic background. Hire quality people who have the right education, training, and experience. You can also search for jobs on LinkedIn. You know, many companies will post on their company page hiring for these particular positions. As a matter of fact, you can apply for jobs using LinkedIn, which is kind of a fun thing to do. Uh, and many companies will work exclusively through LinkedIn to, to promote it. And so they'll say, go to our page and fill out the uh, apply here. And so essentially, that's an opportunity for you to send your resume through LinkedIn. And they can, get a ch they can have an opportunity to see you on LinkedIn. Uh, search, you can search for company information on LinkedIn. Maybe there's a company that you're interested in. Uh, you can go and see if they have a professional page. And if you are a leader in a company and you don't have a professional LinkedIn page, get one, start one. I'll talk a little bit about that here in this slide presentation. But anything that you put on any of your social media, keep in mind your target audience. You know, I love to talk about critical thinking and target marketing and how important you know to think about life like chess you have got to put your best foot forward every single time but you have to be kind of strategic uh, with what you place online to be able to maximize your opportunities you can't be all things to all people you must recognize the niche that you fill and what your value proposition is that you're offering and make sure that that's well represented in the words that you choose and the pictures that you choose and things that you like also. So here's some tips for your profile. Optimize your profile with keywords. If you know that you want to do something very specific uh, with a career, make sure that your words that you choose are honest but also help you be seen as someone who's credible. And if they're searching for those keywords in LinkedIn or on YouTube or on YouTube, on Google, they should find your LinkedIn profile because you've targeted your keywords properly. Use a quality professional photo, you know, especially on LinkedIn. Uh, I would do it on everything. You know, professionally, I'm very careful about what I put on Facebook. You know, people are going to check me out. And I always want people to know who the real me is. And I don't want to have anything on my Facebook feed or LinkedIn feed where, where I could be seen as controversial or a risk. I don't want to be a risk. I'm not a risk. So do make sure that you're thinking about uh, how, what you are um posting online how that will be perceived because it could be there could be just one thing that separates you from getting the job versus someone who's more professional that didn't have that one thing that was so controversial on your your feed so uh, share your accomplishments be honest about things think about the wording look at spelling um, know what people will be searching for when they do it and make sure that you're using that as a keyword throughout your um, your profile be clear be very very thorough don't throw a ton of information where people have to sort things out I'm a big fan of using bullet points or asterisks uh, to help people really go aha this person's credible or aha that's a cool accomplishment you know and so really be very clear um, when you choose your LinkedIn uh, profile URL, choose something that would be easy to distribute. Well, you got to have linkedin.com forward slash in, but you get to choose what people are going to find, and you can change it later. Like mine is just Paul Gerhardt, so linkedin.com slash in forward slash Paul Gerhardt. And then add your social media addresses too, and this is your opportunity to really build your online presence and then have a bunch of on all your social media, all your pages kind of linked in so people could really get to know you better. That's the whole deal with using social media is people want to build a relationship with you. People need to understand you. People need to be able to see that you are a credible person. So use your LinkedIn, all the options on your LinkedIn uh, profile, fill them out thoroughly, 
and give useful links to help people get to know you better. So uh, with LinkedIn, you actually have three different levels of connections. Obviously, level one is going to be the most powerful. You know, these are the people that uh, actually will see your feed. These are the people that you could actually connect with using the send message button or contact button. Uh, level two people, you can see who they are, but you need to have connect uh, with a level two person uh, via a level one person. So you would contact a level one person and say, hey, Dr. Gerhardt, I see that you're connected with John Jones at John Jones Plumbing. I'd like to know him. Can you connect the two of us? And so uh, you could use the features in LinkedIn to connect uh, with a level two person using the contact feature. So get people to ask you to connect. I like using LinkedIn profile on my business, personal business cards. Um, I like uh, LinkedIn on my Facebook accounts. And, and of course, I've got my LinkedIn accounts connected with all my other social media. So I have a blog that I run and I have my LinkedIn page there. And so uh, a smart thing to do is ask people to, to link in with me. If I'm writing an article on my blog, I could say, hey, connect with me on LinkedIn give them some reason to to join you for more information on leadership training connect with me for exciting updates on how to make the most of your career connect with me on LinkedIn you know that kind of language you've seen it before anyway it really is powerful uh, you can upload your own contacts from your email account uh, and it seems to me that with my phone it actually could search my contacts uh, on my phone and um, I can connect, get people send out invitations via LinkedIn to connect with me. So the app on your phone really actually has a little more, a few more features than the app on the computer. So that's what I liked about LinkedIn is it gives you some versatility uh, to be able to use it as a mobile app. And of course, you could use it as a desktop app. When I publish articles on LinkedIn, I'm using my desktop app or just directly connecting with uh, LinkedIn uh, via LinkedIn.com and I sign in and I write an article in Word and I post it. Uh, so we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, you can get paid LinkedIn accounts and uh, it's they'll bug you a little bit about uh, upgrading. It's usually they'll send you try LinkedIn for 30 days and uh, it's a good feature if you're searching for a job. I'm not searching for a job and I hope I don't have to search for a job anytime soon but using a LinkedIn account could pay good dividends for you in, in getting a better job it gives you more exposure uh, you can use an enhanced profile with a larger photo uh, you have better pro, uh, positioning for applying for jobs it gives you access uh, people uh, to view for you to see who's viewed you within the last 90 days you know, if people aren't viewing you, that may be a good opportunity for you to stop and think about changing your profile a little bit more because employers are always looking for good people. and They're probably using LinkedIn more than you realize. So it really is wise to be make sure that you are, you've got the best profile and you're getting seen. Uh, you have the ability to see third degree profiles. So people who are third level, uh, you could be able to see their profiles. Uh, you can have additional search features, uh, more learning resources, and then detail, more detailed analytics. So um, LinkedIn actually bought lynda.com, by the way, which lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com is a really wonderful uh, opportunity uh, for you to watch vid training videos on almost anything that you want to learn how to do. So it's, it's really kind of cool, and it's, it's actually very affordable. And you can use more in-mail per month <clears throat> uh, to contact anyone on LinkedIn, even if you're not connected. So that really is a good way. LinkedIn is a very powerful piece of social media for you to be able to promote yourself, promote your products, promote your, your business. So I'm a big fan of posting articles. And I like writing about diversity and leadership topics. Um, I like the fact that people are reading my articles 
Um, I, I mean, don't post enough because I'm very busy, but it isn't a good opportunity for you to get seen. And in order to do it right, um, you need to recognize that uh, level one viewers uh, are the ones that are seeing this. At this time, I have 17,000 people that are my level one connections. And uh, any of them potentially could read one of my articles and go, aha, I like Dr. Paul Gerhardt. Let me get see if he could come and do a keynote speech at my company on diversity or on leadership. And so those are things that I do as I try to find articles that make people think about the dimensions of diversity and, and how to be a more effective leader. So uh, you could post several times a day on LinkedIn if you want to. So you need to be thinking about, you know, are you posting quality materials? Are you giving re people a reason to check out your uh, LinkedIn profile? Uh, some times uh, people are very, very busy and they don't check LinkedIn very often, but when they do, they may see some quotes that you have shared. You know, one of my favorite quotes in business comes from Maya Angelou, and I think it's one of the most powerful quotes out there, but you got to live your life by this quote, so write this down. Maya Angelou said that people don't always remember what you say, but they'll always remember how you made them feel. And I think as a leader, that really, really is important because, you know, Dr. Stephen Covey talks about the power of thinking in terms of making deposits or withdrawals with each human interaction. And if you're constantly adding value by making a deposit in a relationship, you're probably going to have lots of people who could help support you in your career. But if you're saying things that can be seen as a withdrawal, like withdrawal from bank, if you have negative bank accounts, um, you probably have less opportunity. So we create our own successes and our failures with each action that we take. So it really is important, even on social media, to be thinking about our actions and what we post. So, And what you post says a lot about you, too. So. People are getting to know you by taking a look at what you post on social media. And so it is important, of course, to make sure things are spell-checked and grammar-checked. I can't tell you how many times I've posted an article without following through on my own advice about reading it out loud before posting it, because sometimes you'll find errors. And you may have noticed that uh, in this a PowerPoint, I have found errors as I've gone along because I didn't read it before I posted before I'm presenting it. So it really is important. You can post quizzes and surveys. Uh, I like things that make people think uh, along the way. Those are the things that kind of make you stand out. But, you know, give people a reason to look forward to your content, just like any other social media. And, and one of the best practices in all social media, whether it be YouTube or Facebook, book, is to reply back to all comments. You know, let people know that you appreciate their thoughts and that you saw, that they know that you saw what they posted, because those are the things that are going to build relationships, right? So also join groups of your customers. If you are starting your own business page, and want to attract more people, you got to get into the groups that you know, your customers are, are are also getting into. So uh, be able to think about who your target customers are and think about things that they like and join those uh, LinkedIn company pages too. You can open a LinkedIn company page and it's cool. It's linkedin.com forward slash whatever your company name is. And then you need to make sure that you optimize your company LinkedIn page by carefully and thoughtfully filling in all the different features. Make sure you're using appealing, high-quality pictures. Uh, and then if you have employees, get your employees to post content on your company page, too. And you can uh, assign admins to your company page. So it really is a powerful piece of social media. And finding, finally, uh, just a reminder, post meaningful content. Don't waste people's time. Give people a reason to want to visit your site. Share industry information. Promote educational, useful, professional content. It's a great opportunity for you to be seen and build an audience. Keep your target market in mind uh, for future jobs and business. If you look at my LinkedIn uh, site, you search for me on LinkedIn, Paul Gerhardt, 
and Dr. Paul Gerhard probably. Uh, you, you will notice that people could read my articles to get to know me a little bit better. And I, I think, I suspect some of my articles, people will go, aha, this person's really critical about uh, leaders and their actions. And I am. You know, my message primarily is, if you're a boss, be good to your people. Remember that just because they see things differently, that doesn't make them bad. That makes them an asset. And, and that we, our relationships are fragile, and most people quit their jobs because of their boss. And I think that's a really powerful message to remember. And so uh, that's pretty much what I put when I'm posting, you know, articles that help make people go, aha, yes, I've had a bad boss before. I don't want to be that bad boss. Or aha, I do have talented people working for me, and I should really treat them like I truly value them. And I think I really believe that that's the kind of articles that, that fills my niche. I, I, I am a little motivational in my my posts too because I really believe anybody can be an awesome boss and you should be an awesome boss. So you could send out sponsored in-mail posts too. And I know that I get them every once in a while in my LinkedIn feed, but I never read them. And so I suspect some people do, or it probably wouldn't be a feature that they carry on, but you could also uh, pay to have sponsored content. And of course, that content will go into a feed and it'll say promoted on it in small letters. So LinkedIn really is an amazing uh, piece of social media that uh, I highly recommend you develop and continue to develop and keep updated as you uh, grow your career and know that you can use it to promote your business and uh, to find better jobs and you know step by step with a solid plan you can have an amazing career with the help of LinkedIn. All right thanks so much for your valuable time this is a little longer video than I was hoping to post but uh, I really appreciate it make sure that you're scheduling time for success you know learning is an active process and it's something that can't be faked. The more you practice engaging with the materials that you're reading, doing the assignments in a meaningful way, the more powerful your portfolio is going to be and your intellectual toolbox, which makes you a better prospect for people who are looking to hire you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Only you get to choose how you feel about it. I'm Dr. Paul Gerhardt.